Hi, my name is Howie and I'm going to be talking to you about tuberculosis and trends within the community, whether it's worldwide, national, or local. This is for my entry-level master's in nursing program and my community health class. Uh, you, what you just saw was a picture of a tuberculosis uh, nodule in the right lung and for this program I'll be talking about trends. Uh, vulnerable population demographics as well as the treatment successes that we've encountered so far. So the basic pathology for tuberculosis involves a mycobacterium tuberculosis um, bacteria and currently we have a difference between latent and active TB. People who have latent infection are usually the ones that have been uh, exposed first and they usually don't give any um, symptoms since TB is an airborne and uh, uh, disease is easily spread and the patient who has active tuberculosis um, from latent TB be, has to be isolated and quarantined. Uh, usually they become active TB uh, if they have risk factors that predispose them to having a full onset tuberculosis. And now you just saw the gender rates. It was about a 52% uh, rate for men versus women and this is also a table for mortality rates and as you can see there's a mortality of uh, 0.59 number in the thousands so we've got about 590 people that died of tuberculosis uh, roughly two years ago and uh, the trending graph for the mortality shows that since 2000 to around 2015 there has been a decreasing amount, thank goodness, of tuberculosis mortality rates. And what I mean by mortality is that the death rate from people who have been affected with active, latent to active tuberculosis, um, roughly about 500, 600 people have died. Uh, next, we have the incidence rate of tuberculosis per 100,000 population year. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it mirrors the uh, mortality rate and the incidence. Sorry, that's my cat and my dog <laughs> fighting. <clears throat> so the incidence rate has decreased over the years uh, within a span of about uh, 15 years or so. <clears throat> and um, the lower line, as you can see, is the incidence of those who have been affected that have HIV and tuberculosis, which are people who are the most susceptible. <clears throat> Uh, this is another trending line where you can see uh, the black line is uh, the XDR and the uh, orange line is for tuberculosis diseases that are uh, multiply resistant to drugs whereas the XDR are, are those who have been um, resistant to drugs uh, including INH, isoniazid, and rifampin, which are the two most um, potent drugs, and patients are resistant to that, and now they're also resistant to second-line drugs. Uh, this slide just talks about the fact that there, um, I'm just trying to cover myself, that I haven't found um, many data uh, trying to differentiate latent versus active TV as of yet, but I'll, I'll continue to find some. So we're going to go back to the, um, the regular presentation slides of my other classmates. Uh, I ha wasn't able to list the references here. I'll see if I can list it later. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, thanks. And this is Howie Realibit signing off. Bye-bye.